What's happening in our universities is in part a symptom of what's happening to our whole country. There is a tribalism that's emerged on college campuses, which I associate with a certain form of expressive demonstrative identity politics. We're talking about a vocal minority that have torches, in a sense. And what I mean by that is the internet. That magnifies these sorts of opinions such that we need to address them vigorously even more. You see the sort of equivalent of inquisitions going on at many institutions where people are hauled before tribunals, where all they've really done is to question some orthodoxy. Shouting profanities in the faces of faculty members or administrators who have angered a group of students because they've taken a position that the students don't like. Somebody should be saying, come on, it's a part of the price of being in this community that we treat each other with a modicum of respect. If you don't agree with what somebody's saying, you don't shout them down. You make an argument for what you think. Don't try to silence them, that's never going to be effective, but train yourself to engage with them. It happens almost everywhere that nobody is penalized for using force or the threat of force to shut down somebody else. And that means that the right of speech has been taken away. We know that in other countries, in other periods in history, arenas of intellectual freedom can be squashed happened in the Soviet Union, it's happening today in uh, Turkey. So the, the danger exists. It hasn't happened yet, but uh, we'd be naive to think that it couldn't happen. One of the things that I think is important at universities is to follow a principle which says anyone who's qualified and prepared to put their own minds at risk is welcome here. This is a place where we are engaged collectively with each other to find the truth. And we do that by taking positions and expecting and welcoming people to push back. And we've trained students so that they don't feel that this is an attack, this is the process. At Heterodox Academy, we're not here to attack universities, we're not here to criticize them, we're here to help. We're here to improve academic life. So we're committed to evidence-based recommendations. We have a lot of writing, a lot of blog posts, analyzing the problem. We are collating all the data that we can find, and we're offering solutions. We think there's some little things you can do that will end up having a big effect. The whole educational process will be enriched and enlivened by a multiplicity of voices and perspectives. If you are part of the professoriate, if you are the staff of a university engaged in teaching and research, you belong with us. I actually think viewpoint diversity in everything is really critical. We're trying to protect the rarefied pursuit of knowledge, which is a specialized enterprise. If you're just trying to figure out what's true or how the world works, you're going to sometimes end up being heterodox because you're following an idea wherever it leads.